Welcome back to another episode of Atypical, everybody. Thank you for joining us. We have a deep dive of a topic here today, which we're going to get into. It is, uh, it's got a lot to it. It's got a lot to it. So to tell you what you're going to be seeing, although you can probably tell by the title already, we're going to be talking about who we think are some of the most evil people to have ever existed. And we're going to start off with a little bit of a conversation about, well, to give a little bit of context, uh, me and Masam were, and if you listen to the the last uh, long episode, which you should, on all platforms, uh, we had struck up a conversation which we were talking about the Joseph Fritzl case, and from the Joseph Fritzl case, we then talked about you know who's more evil, him or someone who's done mass killings like a, on you know genocidal levels, so on and so forth. Because on one hand you have deep intimacy uh, of you know the killings and everything, on the other side you have you know sheer numbers so from that we decided it would be a great conversation to have on the podcast um as a bite so uh here we are what do you guys think yeah first of all i would like to get the gang's opinion on how do you guys define evil right because there's a lot of factors which go into evil right because the broad definition involves like social cultural religious but like, I just want your opinions on what you think influences your definition of evil the most. I'll give you an example of what I, yeah. I like to simulate evil with. So I, I like to think, and this is, where, this is where I stand already on the intimacy versus genocide conversation. You can maybe tell. To me, it's kind of like a lack of empathy. That's kind of like a defining factor, in my opinion. So like that lack of empathy thing is kind of what influences my opinion on evil. So I want to hit the table first before I go on to the next bit. I feel like, you know, that part of your brain, like whenever you want to do like, whenever your part of your brain makes you want to do something bad, no matter how small or insignificant it might be, then the other side of your brain is like, no, I don't do it. Don't do it because of X, Y, Z. I feel like someone who's evil <laughs> either d doesn't have that part of their brain that says, yeah, you probably shouldn't do this or they just ignore it like every single time that it comes to their mind. That's something that came to my mind straight away. Interesting. Interesting, because I want you to hold that thought, because that actually leads very nicely into my next question. But let's hear the other two first. Also, that seems like religious, by the way, from what you said. Seems like know, almost first thought that came to my temptation. Head. Obviously, there is like the other in it, like you don't have empathy, you don't have your sociopathy, blah, 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 blah. But that's just one thing. But yeah. Sure. Jay, how are you? I'd say someone who gets pleasure from doing bad deeds. Interesting. Interesting. Because I really have a counter argument to that. From from the research I've done, from the research, not me, <laughs> uh, so, some of the cases, it's not seen as necessary satisfaction. I won't name names, but there's a lot of... I want her names because Fritzl is a good example. It's much more seen as a necessity and almost survival instinct as opposed to them taking actual admiration from it. So I don't necessarily agree with, to that answer personally. I think it Hoshu? depends. But yeah, yeah. we can loop back. We can loop back. Hoshu? Um, someone who's just, it's just bad, isn't it? Bro? <laughs> <laughs> it's just, you got it's just, just a... He's <laughs> a bad person, bro. It's... Go away your words, bro. So okay, then what makes him bad, innit? <laughs> I don't know, man. I'd have to agree with Hamza. Like, just someone that's just inherently bad and just doesn't give a fuck about shit. He just but someone not having that part of their brain doesn't inherently make them bad. Not the sociopath bit. I mean, like, the part that's... That you let the intrusive thoughts win every time. And you're just doing it for the sake of it. Psychopaths don't have a choice. I feel like that's just the way that the chemical makeup is but i'm talking about someone that has a choice and still does bad yeah that's essentially, yeah, that's essentially what i was saying yeah yeah when i say that you don't have that part of your brain i don't mean like oh you were never like born with it or anything like that but more so of like you've you've kicked it out of your brain over time so yeah that's kind of what i was uh adhering to sure yeah. cool so that brings into question something i found interesting is like do you guys believe you need a consciousness like someone only who has a consciousness can be evil then like you know maybe this that isn't the correct word but like an animal for example they don't really have a high understanding of self-awareness right not as much Depending as a human on, yeah. right because Depending they on the have, animal yeah 
yeah, depending like on the animal. You, you have, have a obviously... line, you have it's like kind of like black and white for yeah. a lot of animals, isn't it? Sure, sure. So, like, can an animal do an evil act? Yeah, I get what you mean because then you could have like conversations of someone has like a mental illness, right? Which is what Hashi was uh, adhering to. Um, they, you know, you plead insanity, don't you? When you, if, for example, if you have a mental yeah. illness and you do a you do a heinous crime or whatever, you plead insanity, and you know you 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 get out of it by you know being put in a mental institution to get help rather than um you know a jail or whatever so yeah i think so that's i think if if you have a mental illness of some sort however that comes about whether that's something you're born with hereditary you know bad experiences whatever then i think i don't think evil is probably the right word for someone like that because you can't help it so I, that's where again evil i feel like is when you can help it but you choose not to that's kind of yeah, kind of links to. And like, animals yeah. can do bad stuff for fun. Yeah, it depends yeah, on like the animal, dolphins. They do, dolphins. yeah, they do do that. Ot- otters like sexually assault other otters and stuff. So yeah, do co- right. so do dolphins. Yeah. So do dolphins. dolphins are mad. Dolphins are mad. Yeah, they're crazy. Aren't they one but of like dolphins? the only animals that have uh, sexual pleasure rather than to procreate? Yeah, yeah, they are. Yeah, yeah. Makes but they also. They're yeah. also very smart as well, which kind of ties back into your point, Masam, because their brains are very huge. Like, I think that's a very good question about the consciousness bit. Yeah. If you have a conscience, from a wider perspective, without a conscience, it's not seen as evil. It's just seen as primal. Yeah, it's just seen primal. as the way of life, the circle of life. But yeah. it's like humans the... that kind of dictated that. But yeah, Do yeah. humans have a conscience, though? I feel what like is... if any animal there they're very likely to have one compared to other animals due to the size of their no due to their due to them being smarter but i'm not sure that's a question for a dolphin size of, uh, frontal lobe <laughs> just name david Attenborough coming, coming on next episode of atypical <laughs> excuse me yeah, 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 yeah. i heard that he's on um, this episode i heard he's on this episode right now wink wink big dave do you want to give your impression? No, no, I knew you'd know. Okay. <laughs> and yeah, we see our <laughs> So, um, yeah, okay. Yeah, I just want to ask a question then, because I do like your definition of like, you know, intrusive thoughts idea. But then that brings into question that like, then do you think everybody has the good voice, like instinctively the good voice first? Then. No, not. I oh, think some do... people just don't have an inner voice, and it's like some people just don't have one. That's true. That's like scientifically true. But I feel like those might be the people with the mental illnesses. Some people aren't. Do you know what I mean? Is what I've heard as well. But yeah, no. Generally speaking, like yeah, a psychopath, that's they, what they, yeah. clinically proven psychopath doesn't. But then there are also people that are just they just don't have one. Yeah, they just don't have one. I'm not sure why though. That's a it's a. It's crazy. Matthew, did you say they don't have that voice? first or are you saying they just don't have that voice period because those are two actually like valid yeah so i'm saying they don't have that uh you know i don't know i'm not even sure yeah no, no, because, yeah. because the voice because of reason i think i think there's some things for everyone right and that's okay let's think of addictions right if someone's sure. addicted to anything wherever it is it'll always be the bad voice that hits your mind first before the good mm. voice because that's like you know, for the most part. Okay, it's a good news <laughs> from experience. <laughs> but I feel like I feel like it's, you're more likely. Okay, let's just okay. Let's just throw some hypotheticals around, right? Let's say, for example, you have uh, an addiction of some sort, right? Let's say, let's say you have an addiction, and then you just let's just say you don't have an addiction, right? For the chance, for the times where you don't have an addiction, it might be like. 75% of the time you, your, your good voice comes in first maybe 25 things but when you have an addiction it'll be like the other way around that's essentially what I'm trying to say and that over and that builds over time hence why you get more addicted because you, you have less of a you have less strength to battle against it as time goes on hmm. yeah that's fair that's it. they say there's a saying that's like there's a good wolf and bad wolf inside you and it's all about which one you let win every day it's mm. yeah. so I don't know <laughs> Maybe there isn't a good or bad voice. Maybe it's just one voice, and it's just like, do you like? Do you want to fuck around today? <laughs> <laughs> I'll find out. <laughs> Let's find out. Fuck around and find out. <laughs> uh, okay. I don't know. Well, 
should, should, should we if you don't have anything else then Masam, and to to set us off with a bit of a foundation i can jump into the the fritzel case mm-hmm. yeah i sure. like that though Masam. that was those some sick questions i like that yeah, thanks 100%. So I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with the Fritzl case, but I'll do like a quick 60 seconds on it. Um, it's really long and we can do an entire bite entirely on that, which we might start a little series where we deep dive in some of these cases. We've talked about it for a long time. Um, so let us know <laughs> if you do want to see that. But long story, incredibly long story short, um, Joseph Fritzl, Austrian man, he was married uh, to his wife, Rose Marie, I believe her name was. And they had a daughter. Um, at age, my daughter was called Elizabeth. At age 11, he began sexually abusing her and assaulting her. Um, and that was like 1977. Fritzl's mother uh, also apparently, this came out after, he actually locked her up in his attic and basically starved her out and essentially killed her as well. There was abuse from her. She never showed him love growing up, etc., cetera, et cetera, which again, there's something we'll come into because it's I think that's a very common theme of abuse in, in childhood in different forms. Yeah, uh, Joseph Fitzel, big time. Joseph Fitzel then essentially converted his basement, his cellar into a prison cell. When Elizabeth, his daughter, was 18, he lured her into there. He imprisoned her, sexually assaulted her over many, many, many years, um, gave birth to many children. Um, I think it says here 14 children he had, um, I, I think, with her. Um some of those died some of those lived he essentially got some of those children born uh, from his relations with his daughter um and basically popped them on his doorstep to act as if they were given to him because the whole idea was that elizabeth his daughter had ran away because she didn't want to live there anymore and she was trying to get her own freedom but she had kids outside and then she sent them to that home to look after while she was away in a different country so that was the guys he gave because not even his wife rosemary knew that they were locked in the cellar nobody was allowed to go down there nobody was allowed to enter there basically long and then yeah 20 plus years he assaulted her uh elizabeth his daughter and then eventually one of the kids had to be taken to hospital he took them to hospital elizabeth was like i really need to go i'm ill blah 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 etc etc and then they went there and then eventually you know from there when they were both in the hospital the doctor tipped tipped them off and um they were able to fortunately be rescued um there is so much more to it it's so yeah and yeah. we'll go into it a little bit um but there really is so much i was gonna say correct me if i'm wrong but i thought I thought after the daughter who had like the daughter who needs to go hospital had like some sort of liver failure. She, he took the daughter, correct me if I'm wrong. Cause I thought this was the case. He took the daughter to the hospital. The, then the cops and the police were like, how do you have this kid? And she's, and he was like, Oh, Elizabeth, blah, blah, blah. Elizabeth gave it. Elizabeth told me this person's got this problem. This daughter's got this problem. And they're like, eh, that's sus. And then he decided to come back with Elizabeth. Right. As proof. Yeah. So uh, yeah, kind of. Like that. She was like, she really wanted to go to like basically prove that she was there, and he was like, "Well, I don't really have a choice at this point because I kept interrogating him." Yeah, so that's that's the he was using these notes this story. to back himself up for like 10, 15 years at this point. It's like, brother, no one believes you, but well, they yeah. kind of believed him at first yeah. because they they thought Elizabeth was a neglectful mother, so they were kind of half believing it until she went to the hospital. And then she had the same symptoms as her daughter. Yeah. Then they were like, okay, that's kind of sus. Yeah. yeah. But that basically, what I'm trying to say with that is like, it's kind of almost ironic that like his downfall was his own like sort of hubris. Like as soon as all the pressure started being piled on him, he's like, whoa, okay, maybe I need to uh, take extra means. What I don't understand, and I told the story to somebody else recently as well, right? And they said something hilarious because it's so true which they had some of the some of the bits you're leaving out is like he decided to adopt some of the kids with the with rosemary yeah so something i was telling the story to somebody and they pointed out something hilarious because i was like that's a good point actually which is in this joseph fritz's life this wasn't the only horrible thing he did there's a couple other things right he got let out because he also someone earlier a nurse. Midwife, yeah. I think. Yeah, nurse, yeah, midwife, a nurse. Something, yeah. Yeah. And then he got let out and so like he's obviously a uh, repeat 
offender. So the funny thing is, is like this guy's morals are all over the place because he's perfectly doing those horrific acts, right? And doing the stuff to his, who knows what, he probably abused the wife as well. It's reasonable to assume he probably abused the wife. He locked up the mom, the daughter, but his line, the, the, yeah. the line where he drew was the little girl, the little girl's liver damage, <laughs> which is a kind of weird one, yeah. right? It's a weird one. Like he, he let many he, die. He even be, he, these, these kids used exactly. to dig up. They literally with their hands, then they did it. They dug up the ground, the soil to extend the cellars. Like he had them working yep. slave labor as yep. well as malnutrition, feeding them twice a week. No sunlight. They obviously saw the abhorrent acts, which he rationalized by basically saying he would never look at Elizabeth while doing it essentially yeah. so like what the, the kids were right? there so like this is what i'm saying like th this is what yeah. this is why i think this brings up the whole question of evil and this is why i wanted to start off with the evil aspect because even this man who i would be this is the kind of individual i'd be afraid to look in the eye because this is like a living demon sort of thing this is a living demon on earth right like even he had the line at the the, the liver damaged kid kid which is just one like weird right Some it's just sixth weird sense to think of morality that, that's what I'm saying. It's all over the place. And he also had a... Did he not have like a he cremation? Said he, he said he wanted a way out. And that was kind of his... He was already planning to let her out. That's so, a, that's oh yeah, cheers. Like, Two it, decades right. later. Yeah, that's cap. Cheers, mate. Yeah, that's cap. 20, <laughs> 24 years, right? That's yes, 24 years, years. yeah. He, had, deep deep he had written letters and stuff that he had set up for. He was planning to release her a year later. And so he was like slowly making a plan to integrate back a story that would not incriminate him when she comes back into reality because in his words he was getting too old to care for his second family which is the basement yeah. so that's why he actually, yeah. actually and feels, then I actually feel he sick. was like well she's ill so I might as well you, you but know, yeah he did already the, one child already died and then he did cremate the yeah, kid in the, the oven cremation. yeah that's exactly what I'm saying so like this, it's all over the place. So even this messed up individual had his own definition of morality, which is weird to think. Because sometimes you see these evil individuals and you're like, they only think in evil, right? They can only think in... There's no black... I feel like a lot of them black, have that, right? uh, that twisted sense of morality, though. Their own version of it. They all do. Yeah, they all do. I feel like they all do, yeah. And, um, yeah. Quick, and, quick uh, question. Sorry, sure. before yeah. you carry on. Yeah. Did You said the the wife couldn't go downstairs. No one knew... Like, I'm going to talk about that. that. I was going to address so, that. Yeah. Okay. So did, does, does that mean that the wife didn't know that Elizabeth was downstairs? I'm yeah, glad you said that because I was literally going to bring that up next. Okay. Cool. So this is the thing. Okay. So reading the story, there's two things which kind of stand out other than all that stuff. One, he even um, outlived some of the rooms in the house, by the way, if you didn't know that. So there was oh, an yeah. individual who used to stay there. Yeah. Who, there was an individual who stayed there for like 11 years and he, this person recounts how even he heard like noises. He heard noises and he just kind of like pushed in the back of his mind and kind of didn't address it. And as messed up as that is to hear, right, part of me does feel bad for that individual because you must like that guy must that person. I don't know if it was a guy or girl. I think they must guy, be going yeah. through crazy guilt as well. Right. Because you can oh, imagine. They, it was noises as in like it was he could hear it from the walls yeah, and stuff he could like hear that through like, the walls like, yeah, while he, he was staying Elizabeth in the house. house what was he doing what was he doing he, he was right he, he rented the oh, she, rented he, the room there, out to him there was one care. tenant i don't know if it's the same tenant but there was one tenant that did look around the house like try and investigate because they had a dog that kept barking in the middle of the night so they went to investigate but they never found the cellar door the, the cellar door yeah, by because... the way harshi was like behind like six layers with and he was an electrical engineer um uh, Joseph yeah. Fitzel, mm. so he had like keypad locks and door after door, and it was it was massive yeah. and everything like that. And this is the seventies as well for this guy to set up all these contraptions. It was like eight doors or something between mm -hmm. the yeah, first. It's crazy. One. I don't understand what if all these noises are happening. Why didn't no one just say like you know it, something's happening? Like it doesn't sound like a a Who dot of fox bro. dying, bro. It sounds. Like I don't know if this is cap or not, right? But people, he kept using this excuse that. He was building a fallout shelter, right? That's what he always used to say, because this was the height of Russia and America not not liking each other. So he was building a fallout shelter, and I guess that was quite common at the time. So there would be like machinery and stuff going on and things happening that you could. Well, he thought he could just get away with using that as an excuse, 
And mm. a lot of people just seem to believe him because that's what the times were. Yeah, this was Cold War times. So, mm. uh, yeah, so there was that. And then uh, talking about the wife, though, this is the thing about the wife situation. Uh, Rosemary. Yeah, Rosemary. So, like, that's a dying name, by the way. I ain't never heard of Rosemary. So, the Elizabeth, Elizabeth and Rosemary still don't have a good relationship. And I saw that, and that kind of made me sad because you'd think like they would have this shared trauma, and then you know, when people have shared trauma, they normally reconcile and get together, right? The thing is, though, I do feel like I don't know to what extent, but I do feel like the wife is kind of semi complicit, complicit because yeah. there's there's different factors involved here. One, which you find out way after that, apparently he locked his mum, right? So you I couldn't find out more information in about house. that, you know. I was, I, I just, I didn't really you get didn't. how that worked. Yeah, I tried looking into it a little bit more. I couldn't really see much. Like, apparently, it was something yeah, he just, three I don't know. I because they moved into the house yeah. together well, with Rosemary, with his wife, and then he locked up his mum up there. I, I just have no idea how it yeah. worked. Like, does his wife his not know where his mum is? That's what I'm saying. The wife was complicit because one, the grandma thing is sus. Two, he was literally a racist. He was, Fritz was quite literally yeah, well, previously, convicted. right? Oh, yeah. And then on top of that, convicted, literally convicted. And then on top of that, the whole Elizabeth thing in there, this is going to be a natural bit of like, mm. also, you can assume it's 70s, 80s, uh, post war kind of Soviet war kind of time, probably a submissive woman. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. right. And on top of that, on top of that, Joseph Fritz, which is, he, uh, talking about mental trauma he was like abused by his mum kind of a single mum situation he had a dad but his dad was literally an a nazi no he yeah, was literally, yeah, a nazi. His dad was literally a nazi yeah let's not forget his oh, dad yeah, was, was quite <laughs> literally a nazi yeah, yeah. That would and be, he, i was that actually would, yeah. reading yeah, that um, so. i was actually reading that he he stated that his his mum only really had him as uh had him to kind of prove that she wasn't sterile to his dad so there was no love there from the beginning. His mum, according yeah, to him at least, no oh, I wonder if I believe how much he says, but still, nonetheless, he quoted <laughs> uh, that his mum wasn't very nice. But yeah, there, there's a lot to yeah. say about this this thingy, but that should hopefully give enough you know, background for those who don't know um, on that. Do you so, know how many um, tenants yeah. he had in that period? I, I don't want to know. It was like 110. Oh, what? bro, days. someone had to know. How big is this yard? <laughs> it's the same room, bro. It's just letting out the same room for over like twenty years, right? But surely, yeah. like a hundred, like, a, a woman in the attic, a woman downstairs. Bro, someone's got to know something somewhere. I don't, did the mum know that the grandma was living there? I don't know. That's she why came. I really she came out. to the house way later. That's what I'm saying. Three years after he started sexually abusing her, Elizabeth. That's when his mom died upstairs. Apparently, yeah. One, I'm telling you, we'll, we'll never know. I don't know if the mom's even alive, but. The no, the mom. Elizabeth oh, Rosemary. 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 I Rosemary. think she yeah, is. Rosemary. Like Rosemary had to be complicit. Like she must have just, just, just you know, Not didn't want to prod the, the bear. Yeah, yeah. just yeah. Didn't she might be dumb though. No, <laughs> How dumb bro, can you be? Just be? Twenty, 20 years, years, bro. Twenty, 20 years. years. Yeah, but you might just be hell. No, she might be Jay. scared for her own life. That's, that's what. Nah, that's valid. That's true. No, one hundred percent. Maybe that's what I'm saying though. That's what I'm saying. She's a submissive woman. She probably was aware, but she couldn't do anything. She probably was abused as well. That's what I'm saying. Because like realistically. You wouldn't put one and one together when you start when you start like getting the kids, like Connecting literally Elizabeth's kids, and start like. I mean, like... she did tell the police at one point, but nothing happened. <sighs> yeah, yeah. sanded. But I don't know, um, man. it's uh, yeah, it's a sickening. Story. The one thing that just makes my stomach turn it's like we're all twenty four, twenty five, right? She was there for what twenty years, right? She stayed every twenty four. Right? 24 yeah she was there every single day for as long as we've been alive i know right that's the that makes my stomach that actually makes me sick like i actually physically feel sick do you know what is like other than obviously the the the, the abuse in the 24 years the other thing that makes me really sad about the story is like naturally someone in this captivity you'd expect Elizabeth to lose all hope, right? 24 years. You think, obviously, she, what you're saying, Jay, about him apparently going to let her out, I don't believe that, but we'll just say for happen's sake that was going to be the case, right? 
if that was going to be the case, she didn't know that, right? So for all Elizabeth knows, she's in the rest of her life like that. And you'd think in those normal situations, Stockholm Syndrome would naturally set in, right? You'd assume so. You wouldn't be com- you wouldn't be shocked if she went through that. But like literally the first opportunity she got, well, I think second, because he took her out the first time like a week before she saw sunlight, right? I think to like that's when her kid went gate. to hospital wasn't yeah. it? Was the first so time. like but like practically the first time she comes up maybe first or second time she sees outside, she leaps at the opportunity. It wasn't even one of the ones where she just kinda accepts it and gets you know, because you wouldn't the only be reason surprised I say Stockholm went back work. in the shell. The only reason I would say Stockholm probably doesn't work is because it's probably a dad. But I don't know any other situation, so maybe it is with because I feel it doesn't like Stockholm kind of you know, okay, maybe Stockholm happen. is not yeah I think that's yeah. the wrong definition yeah maybe, maybe you mean is... like oh like okay I'm used to it now it is my yeah. life now she's a recluse yeah, yeah. yeah she would just yeah. just live to accept it but like yeah, first yeah. opportunity she kind of left at it and it's just like mm. damn <clears throat> like every day she was praying for opportunity you can naturally assume terrible, right? man. but yeah I know. so so now it kind of begs the question right you take that very intimate just like personal cr- personal very deep rooted whatever the hell you want to call it Act probably no word for it yeah it's probably doesn't even do that doesn't even do it whatever but like you take that and then you take someone on the other end of the spectrum the stalins the the hitlers the whoever's you know that have murdered the genghis khans that murders like 11 percent of the world's population right these people like that what's more evil what do you guys think? What like Jay Hoshi, what, what what are you guys' like first immediate thoughts that come to your head when that question gets posed? My my first thought was how do you compare the evils? Like it's it's almost like I know there's like a time you get, for example, for murder, a time you get for uh, sexual assault, all these things according to law, but it's very subjective, like what people go through and i don't know like i just don't feel like you can compare evils so in that sense murder to sexual assault and then also on scales as well that's just the immediate thought like how do you compare an evil like what is evil to someone else what is evil like i don't know it's a weird one yeah i don't i don't think you can just look at numbers and say well this person killed more so they're worse because you're kind of dehumanizing what that person's death means then or whatever the crime was right but i think you can safely say it's like someone can be equally as bad if they did a bad thing to one person as someone else did a bad thing to ten thousand people 100 percent agree yeah if yeah and, and especially when you look at the reasons for why they did that thing right like it comes back to the conversation of sociopathy versus psych psychopathy psychopathy Psychopathy. the idea of like someone having zero emotional conscious so they're just like i know this thing is bad but i don't care so i'm gonna do it anyway and someone else and that person being like meticulous like planning things being Mm. like oh i know this is bad but whatever i'm gonna do it anyway and i'm gonna manipulate people and i'm gonna get what i want because don't care about that person's life and someone else just not knowing the difference between right and wrong, just doing something bad because they don't know that it's bad. Because you could take something that throw his throw us off his psychopath tra- <laughs> psychopathic <laughs> tendencies. Jeffrey <laughs> Dahmer. Um, Jeffrey J. Dahmer. So you because you can exactly like what you said there, Jay. To piggyback off that, you can take what, for example, Hitler did, right? And you could say, but he was doing it because he wanted to take over the world, right? And he thought that these people were in his way, so on and so forth, and he thought getting rid of them would provide him with more power so on and so forth while on the other side of the spectrum you have someone like fritzel who is just doing it for pure pleasure right so that 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 kind of draws like separations behind it as well because that's what you're saying like what's the reason behind doing it and that that might that might be the just like not even the deciding factor that might be like the only factor because i i'm on the same page about it doesn't matter if it's 60 million or if it's one person, it's like the motive behind it um, and what you actually did. And, you know, you've got to draw in the line. You've got to draw a line in the sand to say for how long, you know, doing it for one day perhaps is, you know, definitely very different from doing it for 24 years, whatever it was. So, 
I feel like that is that is an important factor as well because for for me when I look at like again we're just using these two examples here right this this like on the extreme ends of the spectrum of mass versus that in intimacy sort of factor for me I feel like Fritzl is just like more evil because assuming that the mass killings is done for political gain I feel like it's not the same because it's not as sadistic I feel like it's a means to an end on on the spectrum side of, of mass killings because you're just like killing the people who are in your way to become king of the world rather than just hurting someone because you like hurting them do you know what I mean if that makes sense mm. this is the thing right so the scale question is interesting because like killing like they like it's always said in media and it killing one person is that's the hardest thing after you kill the first person it's a lot easier right so what if that first kill is that intimate or that first mm. act is that intimate it just brings to question like yeah that's that one verse sixty thousand example but the thing with the whole like you know i'm not gonna say actually i was gonna say something and it's gonna sound like i'm defending fritz school but i'm not <laughs> but no, like say it, say it. he 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 you're saying pleasure, but at least from the quotes, well, you know, he, mm. he saw himself as a born big R word. I don't know if it's yeah. like pleasure thing. It's a so much more of a survival thing, right? And like yeah. Hitler was also kind of like a survival aspect because it was yeah. the survival of Germany. It's just the yeah. survival of Germany and the prospering of Germany. So like both of them come from a similar kind of standpoint, I both would Austrian. say first. It's just that both Austrian... <laughs> yeah, that's it um <laughs> that's it <laughs> maybe both are artists maybe both are artists yeah maybe maybe oh, but like um no, i was gonna say there was, i um, would disagree i wouldn't say survival i'd say they both got pleasure from doing different things even if, yeah yeah like even if he said i was born to do xyz he still got a power trip from controlling which was his pleasure 100%. and yes. hitler Hitler got pleasure from gaining land. Like he wanted to take over the world. That was his pleasure. Mm. And meth, and meth. But yeah, sorry. Oh yeah, I didn't even know that. Oh, but, um, to, to, to that quote, by the way, if, I don't know if Jane Hoshi, you, you guys read into it, but Fritzl said that he was born to do that, and he was like, "I've held myself back a lot. Um, I didn't do nearly as much as I could have." Just deep that for a yeah. second yeah. brother you did it for 20 plus yeah, years exactly. and he still has the yeah so sociopathic nature bent twisted mind to come out and say something like that when he you know what you could he didn't go against the 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 sentencing he accepted it he pleaded guilty as well so to say that when I you're mean, pleading guilty <laughs> did you have a choice <laughs> Well, you, well you'd, you'd probably think someone like that probably does say not guilty if they did all that in the first place. But he, he that's an interesting case because I feel like True. a lot of people would say, I'm not guilty, I'm not guilty, fight it off, blah, 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 change the sentence, so on and so forth, like Ted Bundy's, etc. Again, there is a difference between the Ted Bundy type of people and, and let's say, Fritzl, right? But hmm. to still come out and say that, despite what you have done, again, is another sick and twisted sense of morality because you gave yourself up. You admitted yeah. your wrongs. It, yeah, it's, so it's so without, all over the place, was, isn't it? He did That's so without saying. actually thinking it was bad. Yeah, That's but why he's never come bad, back yeah. from it, right? He's always, even in prison, he's like, oh, he shows no remorse. Mm. Even after that quote, he said, what was it? He said, I think it was something, I'm paraphrasing, but it was like, you can go look in other people, people's basements and you'll see other um, wives and children. So this is what I'm saying. That's why I'm glad it's you brought up that. Bro. I'm it's glad you brought that bro. because this just makes me angry, bro. I can't, I can't lie to you. From this whole it makes me really upset. I can't lie. It doesn't make me angry. But this is why I said the evil act that I assimilate is with a lack of empathy. Because every way you can define it, most acts actually. I won't say every. I'm not going to completely generalize. But like what they tend to do when you kill someone, abuse somebody is like you obviously don't recognize your victim on the same level playing ground as yourself, right? Because you have that lack of empathy. To me, I hate to uh, um, break it down so simply because it's coming from a bit of a privileged aspect. But like to me, the Elizabeth thing is horrific. 
which by the way, when you deep this, she could have been given a life sentence and she still would have been let free earlier than what she was in captivity. By the way, when you deep it like that also is nuts. Yeah, yeah, but uh, by the way, Fritzel, Fritz, Fritzel's out on parole next year, so don't know if he'll make it though. He's eligible. That's how this whole conversation he started. He's, he's, he's eligible. eligible so. I thought he was still in the psychiatric hospital. Uh, no, prison. I think he's just incarcerated. Yeah, but his pro. Yeah. But how did no but he was going to get moved, right? He was going to get moved to a normal prison, and then they blocked it so that he didn't have access to parole. Uh, I don't know. I, th- I read that he was yeah, eligible. Yeah, because normally rapists parole. and pedophiles get killed, bro. He would have been eligible for parole if the move took place, but it didn't. So unless he's moved since. It's a great question, Oshu. I don't know how I'd be honest. Maybe it's different German, German about, prisons um, and, and Austrian prisons, uh, Oshu. Well, they don't have like, what's it called? Jail justice? What's the term? There's normally? jail justice everywhere, bro. There's yeah. 100% jail justice everywhere. I'm oh, surprised. He's, 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 I, think, I think Jay, um, they said he was set to be released um, and uh, from a psychiatric to a regular to serve the rest of his sentence. He'll, they said he'll be eligible for parole in 2023 um, if he gets moved to that regular prison, though. But I don't know. I don't know if he has yet. It did. From what I read, it got blocked. Oh, okay. Well, mm. yeah, anyways. I got a question for you lot. If if you had to compare, like, we're talking about, this is kind of going back to my point earlier about comparing the crime, because one is sexual assault and one is genocide. If there was a Hitler for sexual assault in the sense that a guy was out there and he literally sexually assaulted like a serial. numbers, yeah. serial. Yeah. So... I'm glad you said that because that's what I was going to actually say before earlier when I said I didn't want to, you know, the Elizabeth thing. Yeah, because the, me personally, murder is horrific, obviously, but like the most sinful act is like, you know, the whole big R word to me personally, because there's a, there's a million different ways that murders tend to happen, right? You know what they, they normally say? It's the, um, what is it? The... Yeah. yeah yeah so like yeah Active like love. murder there's ways to cut around it right like manslaughter mm-hmm. it's not obviously there's different definition but there's manslaughter, you still kill you... somebody yeah there's only one way to cut the big r word you know what i'm saying like there's only one intention everybody says and you can immediately gain the whole context of the situation exactly. immediately immediately yeah, yeah. right because humans throughout the time and forever will do will do murder whether it's justified like holy mm-hmm. war for religious yeah, yeah. land purposes like yeah. different ways so like to answer your question if there was like a serial rapist yeah 100 percent, they start rank number one probably but, well you want to speak about that let's we'll talk about chingis right he he yeah. killed 11 percent. he is one of the most and people really do not realize what he did he's put down as one of the greatest leaders and, and generals but it's really been just lost somewhere in translation over the time but he is horrific like he didn't just you know you get someone like alexander the great for from from what we know he just conquered his way through the places in a in a in a not so barbaric way from what i've seen at least happy to be corrected but someone like chingis he killed about 60 million of the world 11 percent of the population at the time but he didn't just kill them he Big R word did his way through every village. He cut their heads off and he stuck them on the end of spears and staked them into the ground and that that lined the roads up to his kingdoms, right? That's how he would do it. He pillaged, he ran through them, he set them on fire. He did him he did it in the most barbaric ways possible. But then you also have other people as well, like um you have people like Stalin you have people like um uh, like Vlad Paul Pot. Paler, Paul Pot as well and you got obviously you got people like Himmler and all that who relate who were, you know with Hitler and everything but you got Leopold for example who went to the Congo and he did everything he did there and stuff like that who He's, also did uh... it um and you got Mao Zedong as well in China who did this stuff that way too so yeah you have yeah a lot of people See, who did it in very barbaric ways yeah yeah so my question was essentially the reason why i'm saying like you know obviously as you said hamza people like 
Gen- Genghis Khan or whatever, he's obviously a, technically a serial rapist in that sense. Three percent, so, I think, by the way. Three percent of Asians still have his genes mm. or something like that. Have his that. DNA. In yeah, his, yeah, yeah. Like I think that. I think it's the world. I don't think it's just Asia. I think it's the world. I thought it was the Middle East. But to be fair, Asia is a lot of the world. <laughs> yeah. <that's what> I'm <laughs> <laughs> but the 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 question I'm trying to say is like we've seen one case well documented and a very very deep dive because everything got found out but would you say just because Genghis Khan is kind of going back to Jay's fact as well Jay's stat is Genghis Khan his results his of his um his violence and his sexual assault and everything is a statistic but what we're seeing what we're seeing with Fritzl is a well-documented case, but all of those cases that Genghis Khan had, that each individual person there is also a case that we just don't know about. So he, he like, what I'm trying to say is, like, how do you... I feel like it can't... It's almost incomparable because everyone's pain is their own. You yeah. know what I'm trying to say? Even though Genghis done more, it's more from the aspect of the victim rather than the perpetrator. But the perpetrator is already fucked. I feel like you can line them up together like Genghis Khan and Fritzl and both say you're evil and that's that. Yeah. But then it's, you know, it's just hard to like quantify, quantify, um, quantify pain. Yeah. But I don't know. Because then you still have people like who were part of, of Hitler's regime who like Joseph, I don't know why, if your name Joseph out there, bro, change your name. This is Joseph with an F, though. It's different. But um, Joseph... I ain't never seen it spelled like that before, you know. Same. It's Same. obviously a German Austrian way of doing it. Joseph. Um, Mengel, or whatever, who was like... He's the one who um, did all the surgeries and operations and experiments yeah, the Nazi and all camps. the kids and twins and oh, stuff. Oh, I killed them in Nazi uh, camp and stuff like that. Well, mm-hmm. never mind. Do you know that? I killed him Let's in the game. <laughs> <laughs> Let's move on. Let's move on. You killed him yeah, in the game. He's fucked up as well. Sorry? Did I kill you killed him in, him in the game. game. Joseph. In yeah, the yeah, game, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, yeah. that was a bit confused, though, isn't it? But yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, so he did like... I mean, that is... That is... That's evil as well. In, that is intimate, right? Yeah. That's like a subset of, of, what, of, of Hitler, right? And... Uh, I don't know, man. It, you're right. It is inquantifiable. And it's not supposed to be quantified. That's the thing. That's mm. not That's not what we're posing here. That's not the questions that we're going through. We're not We're not trying to, so to speak, get to an answer. Rather, we're posing yeah, the yeah. question to see the views that come out of it. Because everyone's definition is, is, is different the same way. And everyone's mind is different. That's the same way why you have all of these different evil people who are evil for different reasons in different ways. It's, it's, it's all, you know, the same in that sense. You know what's interesting is... The glorification of Genghis Khan, though, it is kind of funny because Holmes, you're fantasized. right. He it's is kind of fantasized because, like, like nobody ever seems to put him on the list with the Stalin or a Hitler or even a Vlad. I don't know, like they do, but then they also like almost admire the fact that he conquered all of Asia at the same time. Like it's, it's a weird of when one. He did it. Yeah, it's more. It was. It was. It was the time of conquerors. Do you know what I mean? It was that yeah, was the way that. Alexander, Ingus, Nebuchadnezzar, all these different people over time. You're conquering land. You're, you know what I mean? It's it Roman sure. Empire. I'm sure Roman Empire, you know, did their way through everyone. This, you know, pretty much most, if not all, there's very few leaders in history who went around, went, um, went around war and uh, conquering and everything like that in a manner which was actually humane. You know, so mm. to speak. Um, it, I don't know. You probably can't want two hands. You know what I mean? So I mean, they still don't do it, bro. Look at USA. It's mm. the modern. It's the modern day. Yeah, yeah Bush. Put Sleepy Bush on the Joe, list. Make his way through everyone. <laughs> so he did, but did if he break a hip, bro. <laughs> Sleepy. Was Genghis? Am I thinking of someone else? But was Genghis the one that used to use his daughters to like seduce leaders and yeah. send them into battle? So yeah. they died. Yeah, yeah. He, he, yeah, he yeah, this way yeah, he used yeah. to do. He used to, if I remember correctly, he used to get his daughters to basically uh, get with like the the enemies, kings or whatever, and then basically like infiltrate them through the inside and basically like lower the defenses. So man just turns up on the doorstep like, yeah, yeah, yeah. genius. Trojan horse, genius. Bro. Evil Master genius, war. right? <laughs> yeah, evil genius. Evil genius. Dr. But, Doofenshmirtz. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, do you, do you think it's evil? <laughs> do you, okay, let's say someone is a serial killer, right? They go and kill, let's say, 200 people. Do you think they're evil 
if those 200 people were all people that had done bad things. You're talking about oh, the Punisher. I don't pose that. You just... You just described Punisher, bro. This is my room. Hold on. Let me take it. <laughs> he rips out a mall. A comedy. <laughs> 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 yeah. Hold on. Give me one sec. No. Um, it depends on the axe, in it? I mean, that person is still wrong. That person is still wrong. I, I 100% think they're, are they they're, wrong, that though? individual still evil. Yeah, they but are. But you can be bad the not evil. The reason I pose that, are they still evil, is because... You're yeah, judging them by bro. the society that you live in today, by your laws and thingies. If you were around in the time of Chinggis, you would say that's how we deal punishment around here. And who's to say that your version of justice in today's <laughs> society is correct, correct, right? Because the reality is USA are going around, or many other countries, if not all countries or whatever in any shape or form, are going around dealing justice as they see fit and they get by it. And they're allowed to do it in today's society because although we could sit here in our own individualistic realizations and like definitions of justice say that oh that's wrong from a nato perspective from a worldwide perspective from a un perspective they're cool to go ahead with it and they're cool to do it and it's not an issue but if you look back in history all throughout time there's been different versions of justice different versions of rules and regulations and laws not only in the same place at the same time but around the world at the same place at the same time so who's to say that you know what i mean but that, yeah, that but links like, to the entire you, conversation you what we're saying well. no no. Okay. No, but like, I mean, I'm just saying. Okay, maybe evil is not the correct word, but that guy is still wrong. Like, the, like if the yeah, Punisher I'm starts the question, shooting, yeah. the Punisher starts shooting up some guys who are taking <laughs> weed or heroin, bro. Like, excuse me. <laughs> okay, but what if the hundred people that he's killed are all rapists? Yeah. So, like, he's still wrong, though, isn't it? For like, it's not. It's not his. It's not his it's right not his decision to make. Yeah, it's not his decision to make. But do you think that comes from like this is kind of divert enough? But do you think that's a religious thing? What if the government says go do it, kill all the rapists? Then he's an executioner. I yeah, mean, exactly. Then he's evil. Is he evil? No. Well, Eliza but... and Karen, that same asking that same question again under this yeah, context. he's not evil. He's right. not evil, but the act is still wrong, right? Because it's right. not his. Like the government, it just furthers your point. The government yeah, yeah. will literally change in four years, and then the yeah, other exactly. government to do <laughs> yeah, yeah, it. Yeah, like, literally, literally, like <laughs> literally, literally where years, the Green Party yeah. could come in and tell them, "No, well, hold on, what are you doing?" <laughs> no, like it's inconsequential. Yeah. But like I'm just saying, that act is wrong because this is the. I made the joke about Punisher, but this is the age-old story of like, why doesn't Batman just kill the Joker? Right? It's a fine line, isn't it? It's a fine line. That's what die a hero long, live long enough yeah, exactly. to become the villain like if you yeah. that is what separate oh, so to speak that is what separates you from those who are evil is the exactly. killing in the sense of Batman right yeah so I respect that I respect and you're right Hashi you're coming right. back to what you said yeah. about religion yeah well, I think I think yeah. that is a big factor as well like yeah that, that is a massive factor and what has shaped the the judicial system that we have in the world today is all derived from religion and then has then you know taken different paths in different ways depending on where you are in different parts of the world so mm. and different religions or you know although they might you know say for example abrahamic right the biggest you know some of the biggest in the world even within them there's many similarities but there's still many differences you know and then 100%. although a, com a country can claim to use that religious um uh, foundation for their laws it can still be you know perverted and twisted however they deem fit because you know humans power control greed so on and so forth so yeah interesting, interesting so why don't we uh, round it off then with uh <laughs> you think it's about the biggest kd <laughs> what, <laughs> kind of to to what we're saying right <laughs> So I mean, you see mine on COD, man. I can't like. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's Mr. Genghis, and uh, he's up there. Probably he's got a bit of a 60 Lad's million to there. one, bro. That's yeah, I mean, is it more? I was going to say more impressive. That's not the correct word. <laughs> that's not, that's more... not the right word. Is it, <laughs> <laughs> is it like more? What you think this KD is? <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely not. It's definitely not. <laughs> it's actually not. <laughs> it's actually it's not. negative. <laughs> nah, it's not that. Never that. Never that. Don't disrespect me, bro. <laughs> it's the one bro. game I play, bro. <laughs> <laughs> not well, though. Um, uh, yeah. <laughs> Rematch me, bro. You <laughs> throwing knives and that's it. Yeah, one me, one me, and Russ, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but um, it's always interesting how natural disasters have a way bigger KD though than like actual human mm. beings. Because I think still like malaria is still the biggest kill of all time. Like other infectious diseases, like literally the Black Death, 
So nature, bro. Nature is the biggest. Nature. Mother Nature's ego, bro. That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> Mother Nature. How long is that time period, though? How long has malaria been killing people for? <laughs> a minute. <laughs> we don't even know that. <laughs> bro, since, like, stats, that's like... since stats have been recorded, that's yeah, exactly that's like a very yeah. long time. We wouldn't malaria. know even before. They probably just wouldn't know what it was. Yeah, they wouldn't. might have been there for longer. Malaria yeah, has been longer. around for don't say basically five thousand five, years. 5, years, years. <laughs> No, 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 no. I'm googling it. I'll google it. I'll google it. I was just doing the maths in my head because it's like, <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, 5,000 okay, years. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, um, the, you know, you know, uh, real quick, when Hamza named like flipping Genghis and a bunch of he was running through he, the list, yeah, running through <laughs> the list, he named like three people the span of like a thousand plus years, yeah. <laughs> like, like it was gigantic leap <laughs> between each yeah. one. Like, he was listing them like they were like one after the other. <laughs> One came in like eight seventy nine hundred. I was just hopping around the timeline. Also, it's it? almost like it's almost like you studied yeah. these lot, bro. Yeah. yeah, history lessons, bro. Shout out, innit? <laughs> Shout out, innit? So it's Thanos <laughs> evil. Ooh, no, he only got rid of half the world. That's the biggest KD. Yeah, no, no, Th- Thanos may not be evil, but he's stupid. <laughs> stupid. Because yeah. you know why? Instead he's of half stupid. In the- yeah, he needs to change hold... his name to Rosemary, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, if she was Rosemary. truly innocent, she's oh, not. Bless her, bro. There's no way. I think she's innocent, but I think she's. I think Stupid. she was. She was not innocent, she, bro. I think she was. I think innocent in the sense that it depends what you think. Like she should have said, she should have spoke up, but she probably couldn't because she was probably going to get, you know. The yeah, same, it's just yeah, the same it's treatment. True. So I don't think that's innocence. I think that's more. I don't think it's complicit. It's more like we'll I'm screwed know. either way. We'll never know. We'll never know. We'll never know. That secret we'll will know. will die with her, or maybe already. It's so her. mad to think about. Like you get like four kids at your doorstep that you then start to take care of. Do you not once? I mean, I have no that's idea true. what went through her head, but you would think well. I'm taking care of all this person, these person's kids now. Like you, they're basically your own kids at that point. Mm. It's yeah. such a mad thing to think about. I think she knew, bro. People had to know. People just didn't speak on it. People didn't speak on it, bro. Bro, that's, bro that's the, the accommodation was bare cheap. They just had to don't, don't talk honestly. Yeah, that's why. Yeah, yeah, that's why. A hundred and fucking hundred and ten, bro. Yeah, that's you a go, uni that's accommodation. Like student hall. <laughs> that's wild. <laughs> But yeah, 110 yeah. people didn't say a word. That's so dumb. I don't get it. There was a there was another story as well that I had, which was similar to the Fritzel one. There was like um, and I I did I mentioned this to Masam last night. It was about someone who basically did the same thing Fritzel did, but <clears throat> there was a slight difference in the sense that that father with his little girl, who was actually only a year and a half when he started, and I think it lasted till she was about 13, um, only literally did like all that all that same stuff, but only um talked to her in growls and barks i and know so this she, yeah it's the story she's, of genie wiley it's like a famous she was, yes yeah. was yeah. she tied to a chair yeah yeah oh, like yeah. yeah she was tied yeah. naked to like a like a potty or her cot or something like that with her arms and limbs like tied up and he did the same thing to um her brother excuse me who's a little bit older as well five years older and so that's like a famous psychological study because it was like a study for feral child because she wasn't mm. able to speak. The only, because like I was saying yesterday, like language is essentially just noise, right? It's noise to your ears that you can then decipher into different things. And the only noise <laughs> that ever entered her ears was barking and growling. So she yeah. grew up and that was the only thing she was able to do. And they did study her for a, a, quite a while. Once yeah. She fortunately got released and everything like that. And then after that, her mom was like, yeah, well, you're not going to study her anymore, bro. She needs to you know, do this thing called become a human again, you know? And so yeah, yeah. she's anonymous we and that everything psychology. now. Yes, that was a really yeah, that was a really crazy mind. story. Like if you compare it, like a little, you know, quickly like quick fire sort of thing like that. And Fritzel, Fritzel, you know, a did it when his daughter was like eighteen. Genie was twenty months old, like just over a year and a half, and that was no conversation. It was barking and growling. That's animalistic. We talked about right at the beginning, a full circle, uh, animalistic, right? And about how, you know, do they have? Um, consciousness right do they have a conscious to to do these things and that that dad if you call him a dad that man you can even call him a man consciousness and conscience are two different things it's conscious um 
He was conscious yeah. of what he was doing, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he was conscious of what he was doing. Um, um, real quick, yeah. before we sign out, I just want to say it's really quite staggering how every single one of these cases, they always start from the childhood trauma element, whether it's an abusive father or an abusive mom. Like, it's almost the recurring theme in every single one of these. So, uh, yeah. I, I actually wanted to say something to that as well. It's It's so mad that, you know, like, people go through trauma, but then... 100% and obviously what he went through is probably disgusting to you like he probably went through a lot but it's like you know it's going back to that thing like you can choose to continue that trauma or break the cycle you know what I'm saying like mm-hmm. I, I feel like, like point anything, I know I know he probably yeah it probably that's... changed his chemical makeup bro, in his head at some 100%. point yeah yeah so it's can't. like really poses the Obviously. question I mean it poses the mm. question right like who's responsible like the parent or the individual at that point because if that feral child ended up being flipping living in the woods like a wolf, like a part of the wolf pack, yeah, like who's who's really responsible? Like the abusive parent or the person who was already twisted to begin with because of the parent? But who knows like, the, the trauma that one. that grandparent the origin. had to that parent? Yeah. And then back Where's and the back origin? And back and a lot of them are just... Just the endless cycle, domino, bro. Yeah, a product it's, of uh, the, the societies that they grew up in and everything. You know, one right? slap and it just starts off. Bro, it's true. That's basically what Asian communities is like. Yeah. Not, not to this. Obviously, nothing yeah, like this. Hopefully not. But it just passes through. Like, it, not Asian, but like you know, a lot of a lot of communities. South Asian, Asian communities and stuff like that. No, Asian. it's true. It's true. Someone's got to break the cycle. But obviously, that's nothing compared to this. This is a whole. Yeah. But it's just in, in 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 you know to some degree in some principle it's um it's the same. It's all about breaking cycles. And if you're gonna lay that trauma onto your kid, they then very likely, depending on how far along that trauma you know timeline you've you've gone or whatever you want to call it they're then going to relay that trauma over to their children and then it can either get worse or it can get better and there's so many factors that get involved depending shout on where you're born and where you live and everything so last point yeah. shout out elizabeth shout out elizabeth. Yeah, she, she's doing all right hopefully hope the kids are doing all right bro they haven't seen sunlight ever until they were what ever. 18, 20 it's crazy yeah but uh there we go that was a deep one <laughs> We haven't done a deep episode in a while. You guys, uh, you guys enjoyed the deep episodes that we've done in the past. So, um, yeah, I really enjoyed this conversation. Um, but yeah, if you enjoyed it and you liked it, get involved in the conversation. Get involved in the comments. Let us know what you think. Uh, again, at the Atypical Podcast everywhere. Um, let us know if you enjoyed it. If you want us to do more deep episodes and uh, dive a bit deeper into other things. But uh, yeah, thank you all for listening, and uh, catch you on the next one. So.